can we start off by uh, kind of explaining what we're doing here today? Today, I'm an ambassador for Nestle and Roundtrees, and they've started a, a big program called Go Free. And for one cereal packet top, you can get a sports experience, whether it be um, indoor rock climbing or go karting or tennis or golf. And we're just trying to uh, help with kids spending a bit more time with their parents and having good quality time and getting healthy at the same time. So it's important to someone like yourself, a former athlete, that um, the kids are out there playing and, and keeping fit. Yeah, I think that you know, with with life becoming so much faster and quicker for everybody, and there being no not a lot of time for sport at schools, that this is just one of the ways that you know people can start getting and staying healthy. And I'm a parent as well. It's not just the sports things. Brilliant. Um, the Olympics is a little over a month away. You're yep. excited about abortions. 28 days, isn't it? Yeah, I think, it's, I think it's going to be fantastic. Whenever the youth of the world get together, they always perform brilliantly. And uh, it's a great place to be, great atmosphere. And, you know, I'm going to be there. Looking forward to it. And um, do you have any kind of tips for who you think might win medals from the British team? I mean, you know, we, we always do, in sport in general, we always do well, you know, at the cycling. And, and we'll do well at the, at the rowing. We'll probably do good in the sailing if, the, if that goes on because they're having all this trouble with the algae and all that kind of stuff but in athletics terms I think that um, our best chance for, for a gold medal probably with the triple jumper Philip Sadoo and maybe a couple of medals from the two girls in the 400 metres okay, and um, do you ever kind of get pangs of jealousy when you see the guys out there competing uh, yeah of course I mean yeah it, do you know what there's, there's no better place to be than than in, in the heart of it and where all the action's going, you know, be it in the Olympics, be in the middle of the stadium, be best fun in the world. Brilliant, OK. Um, moving on to some of the questions from the, our readers. Um, firstly, um, it says here that uh, in a memorable 80s TV advert, you glugged a well-known energy drink to uh, Iron Maiden's uh, guitar uh -huh. riff, Phantom of the Opera. Are you a fan of Maiden? If not, which I'm music are you into? I'm a, I'm a fan of the drink and I'm a... Uh, a 60s to 90s soul man. OK. Brilliant. Um, it says here, um, you're undoubtedly the greatest athlete of all time, miles better than Jürgen Hingsman. Yeah, now um, we're talking. Who do you think is the, the ultimate athlete of all time? No, I think he's right. It's me. <laughs> Aside from yourself? No, there's only me. It's a very short list of the greatest athletes that's ever been. and Actually, there's only one bloke. It's me. Brilliant. Muhammad Ali, he's my man. Yeah, and why is that? Well, because uh, he, he was great at what he did and stood up for some good things too. Brilliant. Um, a gentleman here has asked if you can whistle the national anthem for it. Yeah, I probably could, but we ain't got time. <laughs> OK. Um, uh, on, of the uh, decathlon, which ten, uh, of the ten disciplines, which ones do you find most difficult and which ones did you find the easiest? The easiest ones, obviously, were the sprints and long jump because... That's, that's what I used to do. And the hardest two were the discus and the hurdles. Okay. Um, there's a series of lottery scratch cards out for 2012 with six former Olympic uh, greats on. Unfortunately, you're not one of them. Are you, are you, do you think you should Am be Am I bothered? There? Do I look bothered? <laughs> Fair enough. Um, can you explain why you crossed out the Guinness logo on your vest? Don't drink. So why should I be promoting it? That's what I say. <laughs> 